Have you ever pondered over how a series of wars over a drug could dramatically alter the course of a nation's history? Take a moment to reflect on the mid-19th century. We find two nations, Britain and China, locked in a commercial conundrum. Britain, with its insatiable thirst for Chinese tea, silk, and porcelain, was facing an alarming trade deficit. The solution? A narcotic drug, opium. Introduced to China by British merchants, opium quickly became a contentious commodity. The drug's addictive nature ensnared millions of Chinese citizens, causing social and economic turmoil. The Qing dynasty, recognizing the devastating impact of opium, tried to halt its importation. However, Britain, unwilling to lose its lucrative trade, resisted. This clash of economic interests and moral compasses ignited a fuse of escalating tension. Unbeknownst to them, the tinderbox of resentment was about to spark the first of the infamous Opium Wars. The stage was set for a conflict that would redefine China's relationship with the world. The year 1839 marked the eruption of the First Opium War, a pivotal moment in China's history. The conflict ignited when Commissioner Lin Zexu, appointed by the Emperor of the Qing Dynasty, made a daring move to confiscate and destroy over a thousand tons of opium at human. This audacious action was a direct challenge to Britain's illegal, yet lucrative opium trade in China. The British, unwilling to accept this disruption of their opium commerce, retaliated. The Royal Navy, with its advanced steam-powered gunboats, launched a series of attacks on China's coastal and riverine cities. The Chinese, with their traditional war junks and fortresses, found themselves ill-prepared to counter this formidable naval power. The war raged on for three grueling years, with the British forces inflicting heavy losses on the Chinese. The conflict finally drew to a close in 1842, with the signing of the Treaty of Nanking, the first of many unequal treaties that the Western powers would impose on China. The Treaty of Nanking forced China to cede Hong Kong to Britain, open up five of its ports to foreign trade, and pay a massive indemnity in silver. This marked a significant breach in China's sovereignty, setting a precedent for further incursions by foreign powers. The conclusion of the First Opium War saw China's sovereignty severely compromised, but the conflict was far from over. In 1856, the embers of conflict reignited, marking the onset of the Second Opium War. The fuse to this explosive chapter was lit by the Arrow Incident, a confrontation involving a Chinese-owned but British-registered ship, named the Arrow. The Chinese authorities seized the Arrow, accusing it of piracy and smuggling. The British, however, claimed this as a violation of the Treaty of Nanking, which had ended the First Opium War 14 years prior. This spark quickly set off an escalating series of skirmishes and battles. The British and French, united in their cause, launched a joint campaign against China. The fighting was fierce and brutal, with the invaders employing a mix of naval and ground forces. The climax of this conflict came with the signing of the Treaty of Tientsin in 1858. This treaty opened up more Chinese ports to foreign trade, allowed foreign embassies in Beijing, and legalized the opium trade. But it was a peace that lasted merely in name, as the Chinese reluctance to implement the treaty led to renewed hostilities, culminating in the British and French forces marching into Beijing in 1860. The Second Opium War, much like its predecessor, was a grim chapter in China's history. The once proud Middle Kingdom was forced to make further concessions, losing not just territory but also a significant amount of its sovereignty. The end of the Second Opium War further eroded China's sovereignty, opening the floodgates for foreign influence and intervention. The Opium Wars left an indelible mark on China, profoundly impacting its sovereignty and global standing. The aftermath was a period of tumultuous change, with the loss of Hong Kong to Britain serving as a bitter pill to swallow. This vibrant city, once a part of the Middle Kingdom, was now under foreign control, a symbol of China's weakened sovereignty. The wars also led to the opening of numerous treaty ports, further eroding China's control over its own land. These ports became bustling hubs of foreign trade and influence, stark reminders of China's diminished global standing. Yet in the face of adversity, China's spirit remained unbroken. The lasting impact of the Opium Wars has served as a catalyst for China's relentless pursuit of national rejuvenation. Its history is a testament to its resilience, its struggles a stepping stone towards its rise. The Opium Wars, though fought over a century ago, continue to resonate in China's collective memory, a stark reminder of a turbulent past, and a catalyst for its relentless pursuit of national rejuvenation.